Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking, coming at you tonight just with a couple of things. I uh, hadn't made a video in a while, just been super busy at work. We had some big revamping going on at the car store, new management, stuff like that. So, with that being said, uh, I apologize, I hadn't had to get a video in a while. Um, I did the, uh, the grill, you know, the pellet grill, you know, what you would want in the pellet grill video, but I hadn't done any real cooking. Hopefully that's going to change this weekend, but if not, no later than Tuesday or Wednesday, which Tuesday, August 7th, will be my birthday. And you know, I've always got a big dinner that I like to cook for my birthday dinner this year. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll get something to cook. Um, hopefully trying to work with somebody, uh, trying to get something kind of special to cook that you know, I don't normally get here locally. If y'all have uh, an idea about something you'd like to see me cook, whether it be, you know, whatever, y'all let me know. It's kind of getting down the time, so if I want to order something, it's got to be now or never. Anyway, with that being said, uh, I'm doing this live here on Facebook. I'm also going to try to publish. I've kind of found out where I can take these live videos and post them up to the channel, too. I've got some unboxing to do. I've let some boxes pile up on me. I've opened some stuff. I've been testing it that I haven't. Um, showed them video yet. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to show you real quick first, since it is already unboxed, the bug of salt. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard of this thing or not, but this is a salt cannon, basically, for flies, bugs, and whatnot. And it, it blasts uh, table salt or kosher salt or whatever with this model. This is the lawn and garden model, and it will knock the flies out. It, it's really, it helps. Um, I, to be honest with you, I hadn't done much cooking since I got it, and we hadn't had that many flies around. Like, I'm not going to complain, but uh, anyway, basically, yeah, you just uh, cock it like that. It's got laser sight even on it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it does have a, a red dot. Maybe you can see it on my hand here, but anyway, uh, that's extra. When you undo the safety and boom, there you go. Shot some salt, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to do a video on that and, and show you all how that works. I've been having fun with my nephew. He's been running around with it, and we've been having a lot of fun. But anyway, it, it does work, and I'll do some more. Uh, anyway, to the unboxing that I want to do tonight, you all know that I'm a huge knife fan. I love knives. Uh, one of my favorite brand I've, I've Gosh, I've got a nice knife collection, especially cooking knives and stuff. One of my... Uh, my favorite brands is Edge of Balbravia, I believe is how, how you pronounce it. Um, as far as the cooking knives go, very reasonably priced for what you get, and they have some terrific looking knives. I've done a couple of kn their knives in the past. I've just got the new set. And the way that a lot of times they launch these knives, they do a Kickstarter for a certain set, and they let you get a really good deal on them. Uh, when I do an official video on these knives, I'll have a link there where you can get in on the Kickstarter and stuff like that. But for right now, if y'all check this out, hopefully y'all can see. I know there's kind of a shadow down there, but uh, anyway, if y'all can see what's going on. I'm going to push you down just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, let's just open this box. How about that? Let's check out what we got here in the latest series. These knives. Ooh, this new pocket knives, gosh. Open this up. Oh, wow, okay. They have got to us here. Is uh, first off, all right, this is the Black Diamond, okay? This is. One, I'm so glad they sent this. I've got some other stuff in the bottom. I'll go with y'all in just a second. Extra nice. But this is their setup. It's basically like their knife block, but it's made out of some really, really uh, cool material. So what's up, Jeff? I see Jeff's tuning in there. What's up, Nina? Uh, this knife block here, uh, it's real cool. Let me open it up for you here. So I've, I've seen these before, and I, I really, really, it looks really cool on your counter. It's one of those things that's really kind of. Why should I sit on it? opens up right here. It opens up really nice. And it's almost, it's, it's not, I don't want to say it's made of plastic. It's almost like it's made of like a um, 
some sort of polymer or something like that. It's nice and heavy duty. Has a uh, good because I've had one of these before, my other set, but it's really really cool. I mean, look at that. It sits on your kind, and then you put your your knives in there. You know, they go right down there. You can see all your blades, everything. You can see through that. It's really really cool looking. Great little addition there. So uh, anyway, I'll show you right here on the front, kind of what it looks like once you get the knives in there. So uh, you got that, and they sent that little with these knives. And I'm so glad they did because a lot of people send a set of knives and they don't send anything. Put them in, and they just end up in the drawer. And you know what? You tend to forget about them. So let's see what we got here. This is the so forgive me if I mispronounce this, but I believe it's the uh, uh, Serona Hanna, the white flower, whatever how you uh, translates to white flower in Japanese. Uh, the knife set. This is the samurai knife set. So let's just take a look at this. Wow, that's really cool. Let's get you all back here. We'll get your light down here where, where it's really focused so y'all can make sure you get a good view of this as I open it. And it's exciting right here. Whole box of knives, you know, not just one. My dollar says a whole box. So let's see here. Let's open these up. Really cool. Yeah. Okay. You got that out the way. Get the poison, whatever that is, out the way. Let's just kind of see if there's any other thing holding this together. Of course, you do anything on camera, it's like four times as hard, you know? You just open a simple box, I promise you. Come on. See, most people would have had this prepped, almost open, but no. Okay, let's go ahead. Come on, that should be it. All right, fold that open there. We'll take off this. Oh, wow. Look at that, y'all. Damascus steel look to it. Oh, those are beautiful looking knives. You can get away from the poison. Look at this. Now, that is pretty. Look at that. Almost like a cleaver right there. Wow. I don't know if you can see all those Damascus inlays. Oh, man. Look at this. It's all tin uh, core. Uh, look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. And this stuff is... Oh, yeah. That's, that's hair popping sharp. Sharp, I assure you of that. Yeah. Uh, they, they make some great, great knives. Again, that is absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. Uh, this one here. Bug of salt. <laughs> What's up, Ty? Yeah. I need to taste your pickles, Ty. He's a friend of mine. He, he sent me some pickles and some hot sauce. I still got to do that, too. Got to cook something to, to put them on. Oh, what the heck? I'll lay this back in here without the safety guard. So that's the big one here. That's beautiful. Let's look at the midsize. Wow, man. Get this thing out. Don't you cut yourself. Look at this. Look at the, look at the shape of this one. And that's gorgeous. You can see that being awesome vegetable knife. That is pretty right there. These handles, very ergonomic. And just weight, very, very nice. Look at that. That's even got blade down there on the edge. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Wow. That is, that is really, really, really cool right there. I like that. So we're going to set that down. And then we'll go with the smaller blade. I can't wait to get these work on these things. I'm so scared I'm going to cut myself wide open here on camera. Look at this one. There we go. And that's a small. That's still not very, very small. Beautiful blade. I hope y'all can see that Damascus patterns there in the steel. And that is really, 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 really pretty. So, yeah, we'll definitely see... I wonder if these will sit down here in the uh, in the block. I guess they'll fit. If they sent the block, they should fit, don't you think? Look at that. See how that fits right there? Okay. So put that one there. Come on. 
big boy. Put this one here. Oh, wow. I have to give him a little bit of space. Let's see. I'll do that. Skip a space, skip a space. Alright, and then I'll get for the big one up here. Oh yeah, that's super nice right there. Just right in there. So that's cool. I'm so glad they sent that along with the block. Beautiful, beautiful knives. And uh, we'll open up this barbecue box next. All right, you, you know the barbecue boxes. I've been doing the videos for them for a while. I hadn't done one in a couple of months. Uh, I think the, my subscription ended or whatever. I just had to, to get that that um, uh, re-going again. Now, you got anything to cut? I don't have anything on me right now. I will uh, I will have to have to get some stuff. I want to do a video specifically on those knives. But uh, this is man just unboxing. Let's see here. All right, let's check out this here. Barbecue box, see what they've sent. Because I didn't cut this. Idiot. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. This is oh barbecue plank salmon recipe. Ah, I see that going good on the PK. Right there. What we got? Elk snacks. All right, for that one, that'll be really good. Let's see. Uh, who else is going to say, you need to come to, up to South Roofing Bar and Grill in Vicksburg and try to make his mark whiskey glaze. Oh, man, that sounds great, Nick. Um, look, all kind of jerky. Oh, light barbecue sauce. I'm always a fan to try some of that. So, k and barbecue, white barbecue sauce. Got that going. Got some planks here. And what kind of seasoning they send this time? So, uh, K&M barbecue. Looks like they're, they're K&M barbecue all purpose rub marinade. So, we'll try that with some salmon. I got some salmon in the freezer right there for my last one. So, anyway, cool stuff. We'll be giving this a try here soon. Set that out of the way. Uh, as you see, I've got some stuff to make videos about. I've just got to. Uh, Get to cooking, get some time to cook, get some uh, some ingredients going here. But thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you would, y'all, please don't forget to uh, like my channel and uh, like my video, sub my channel. How much is a barbecue box? Jeff, I will put, it's, go to www.barbecuebox.com. Um, before, I can't, I can't tell you exactly right. I can't remember what it was because there's different subscriptions you can get. But you can tailor it to how you want. You know, somewhere like twenty or thirty dollars or something like that. And they're not that bad. You can go buy and buy just individual boxes that you want. I believe you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. But I suggested the subscription because it's a lot of fun. I like getting the different stuff. But anyway, um, well, thank y'all so much. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, like I said, start trying to plan for the birthday dinner. Trying to figure out if y'all leave in the comment box what you like to see me cook or what you think would be a good idea. Order something. Let me know. I appreciate it. Y'all, God bless. Have a good night. I said I'm going to do this to Facebook, and then I'll try to upload to YouTube as well. Thanks, y'all.